Berlin wäre die langweiligste Stadt der Welt, wenn ihr nicht alle gekommen wärt. Wer, wer sind ihr? Alle Menschen aus aller Welt. Das ist Berlin. Jeder Original-Berliner weiß, wie langweilig er ist. Berlin is a city that never sleeps. It's no secret that at almost any hour, on any day of the week, you can go to a club to party. It's 6pm and a perfect time to hit up Club de Visionnaire, a laid-back club and bar combination situated on the banks of the Spree. Any of you people who are watching this episode and have done a season of partying in Berlin will have definitely have met or at least seen the guest that we're going to go and meet. He's like a staple on the party scene in Berlin. You go to these open airs or private parties, big clubs, and there's a guy there who's often blowing bubbles, who's a little bit older, who's basically dancing crazily, and I'm a little bit nervous about meeting him. Hi. Hallo. Ich bin Kevita. Kevita, okay. Bin noch nicht so richtig wach. Was willst du zum Trinken? Und dann können wir unsere kleine Interview machen. Sollen wir heute mal Alkohol trinken? Wenn du willst. Ich würde gerne genau das trinken, was du gerne trinkst. Ich trinke ein Sekt auf Eis. Ein was? Ein Sekt auf Eis. Dann zwei. Ein okay, gut. Yeah. Dann ich hab, bin ich gleich... Ich habe erst Sex verstanden. Oh, no. Okay. <lacht> ich ich habe noch nie Sex auf Eis gemacht. Pirouette <lacht> so, und so Sex auf Eis. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming from England yeah. and I've been living here for nearly six years and oh. when I first came I did a lot of partying and I remember seeing you very often partying with your bubbles. How old are you? I've been three times, three times, 22. Dreimal 22, okay. Plus eins. Wow. Ja. What do the Berlin parties mean for you? Die Feierkultur bedeutet, dass ich Menschen treffe. Diese Freiheit und rauszugehen. Groß, viele Straßen, viele Clubs, alles Mögliche. Da und da und da und da und da und gucken. How often do you go partying? Ich mache mir überhaupt keine Gedanken über Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch oder Donnerstag. Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag. Das gibt's nicht. Berlin ist eine Weltstadt. Und okay. keine deutsche Stadt. Die ist rund um die Uhr geöffnet. Natürlich gibt es für die Insider eine Zeit, die wissen genau, und vor fünf <lacht> gehe ich nicht ins Butzke. Oder äh, im Bergheim, da kannst du immer anstehen, da stehst du drei Stunden in der Schlange. Ich nicht. You don't queue Nein, ich stehe in keiner Schlange. What's your favorite club in Berlin? Ritter Butzke. Egal, ob die Sonne schon aufgegangen ist oder nicht, ich muss, ich muss noch mal ins Ritter Butzke. Weil ich dann weiß, da kocht es. Yeah. Bei elektronischer Musik muss man wirklich arbeiten. Diese Wiederholung, die in dem Techno ist, die Wiederholung, die Veränderung, die Wiederholung und noch mal und noch mal und noch mal und noch mal und noch mal. Und, noch mal. Ja. Ja. und dann dieses Streben nach oben, wirklich, das, das ist heilig, das ist gesund. Unsere DJs sind göttlich wie wir alle. Sie zeigen uns Scheiße. Ihr seid alle göttlich. It's now 10 p.m. and I'm going to stop by a new restaurant in town called Industry Standard. Here you can grab some amazing bar food to share with your friends and also indulge in some fine quality drinks before heading into the night. This is a raw wine, right? Yes. I mean a natural wine. It's a natural wine. I think natural wines fit to good food and there's some good places that have been popping up in Berlin. That's why natural wine is kind of becoming something important because the food is also coming up to that level. 
but also we have some other kind of weird shit lying around, like a Mexicana shot with well, an Mexicana. oyster. Okay. Yeah, would you like to have one? I'd like to have one of those. Let's yeah. have one. Oyster first, chaser second. Wow. It's good, huh? It's really good and it doesn't taste trashy at all. I know. So here is a bone marrow that I ate earlier. It's something acidic, uh, like the citrus and the radishes and the, and the escabeche of onions, to balance out the, the fattiness of the bone. And then the idea is like when you finish scooping all the marrow out, then you open wide and you look the waiter in the eye. <laughs> It tastes buttery and bourbony. It's a very obscure drinking utensil. You either go to a drinking place or you go to a restaurant. Right. And I feel like you guys are kind of trying to bridge a gap that is much needed in the city, right? The focus is on amazing drinks, amazing food. And then people are relaxed and you can be a bit of a dick and no one cares, you know, like... But which we're not, you know. <laughs> we are also very nice and friendly and shit, especially when we're drunker. Alcohol is the social lubricant of Berlin, I think. Or it makes dicks more interesting, you know, or friendlier. I don't know, I think I agree. so. Rush hour in Berlin is at 1 a.m. This is the time that the party animals are on the move, venturing across the city to begin their weekend. Warsawa Brücke is a heaving train junction which has become the hub of this rush hour. It's the point where every type of party person accidentally meets on the street. As a result, the area surrounding it has become something like an unorganized open air party location. It's where party madness of all forms is confronted with itself. Now we're going to meet the youth of today that are turning Berlin into, quite frankly, some kind of sick party world. And we're going to have a doner kebab to end this fabulous evening. Let's just pray that I get through this, OK? <laughs> Wait, 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 what is 26, sir? Is that your gang? No, is 26 is my hood. What, what hood is that? Hood, hood is 26, Mackish is Hütte, Reinigendorf. Is it a scary hood? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Nice. It's okay, it's okay, alles klar. Die Sticker, Farbgang, Blutscher. I'm really scared that the 26er is going to come back no. for us. And I don't know what that tattoo means, but I'm scared. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Tell the camera who you are and why you love Berlin. I love Berlin because every day party. Oh my god, what is what happened to your eyes? That's really scary. <laughs> Those are the kind of people that you meet on the bridge. Let's get a schnapps. Okay, if you come out 
here are the three rules that I'm going to advise you on. Number one, make sure that you're slightly inebriated. Drink. Number two, you know what? Let's just stay with number one. Make sure you're drunk before you come here. We're at the end of five episodes of good culinary, going out, drinking times in Berlin. And there's only one way to end it, and that's with a doner kebab. One of those global food items that was born in this city. And it's about that point in the evening when you are on the Warschauer Brücke, and all you need to comfort the soul is a dirty donna. Let's do it. Hello. Hi. What happened to your face? Also, die haben mir aufs Maul gehauen, obwohl ich also die waren der Meinung, ich bin Nazi. Ich bin kein Nazi. We listen to black music, reggae, ska. I'm not a Nazi. Hustle. I feel pretty bad for him. This place has moved with the times to cope with the mass of people that we've seen on the bridge. They've invested into a Donner robot. Three euro fifty, please. Now, today. Three euro fifty. Good morning. Good morning. Three euro fifty. I'll be honest with you, there's nothing gastronomically spectacular about this thing. It fulfills its purpose. The purpose is you drink, you drink too much, you're on this bridge, the world is obscene. You eat one of these guys and it's a bit of a hug for the moment. Hopefully I won't eat this too often. <laughs> amazing city filled with culture with history of course but also with great down-to-earth people it's also a city that's able to appreciate what life is about that it's about a basic kind of enjoyment i feel like i've met loads of different characters in these episodes not only people who are part of my kind of life that i have over here but also a group of people who have created berlin and who are part of the old school here who also have that kind of same core attitude to what life should be like. But it's time, I guess, to um, finally go to sleep for a while and not wake up with thoughts of dirty donors. Mm -hmm.